Hello and welcome to webinformant.tv. I'm David Strom, your host and reviewer. Today we look at the Voltage Security Network, a new way to exchange encrypted emails. Ten years ago, I co-wrote the book on Internet email with one of the creators of the POP protocols, Marshall Rose. We said that the state of standards was best described as a sucking chest wound because we were both very dissatisfied with the standards and products of secure email. Today, there's hope. As the number of regulations and compliance rules multiply, corporations need better tools to ensure that their email messaging network is secure. Anyone can read ordinary emails, and these are just a few of the acronyms that make for a more compelling case for secure emails where customer privacy and confidential business communications is important. So before I talk about the Voltage Security Network, let's look at the various options there are for secure email. Network Computing Magazine created this slide which shows you three different encryption models. The best is from end to end so that no one can read messages or intercept them except the intended recipients. Next is boundary to boundary so that encrypted messages are sent over the internet but otherwise available in clear text across the internal corporate network. It's easy to implement which is why it's attractive. Finally is the staging server model which uses a web portal. Let's look at the summit products that have been around for a few years. Hushmail offers end-to-end -end web encryption for free, but it doesn't work with Microsoft Outlook and Exchange. PGP has a universal gateway and its universal server that works with your corporate email tools, but needs some effort to manage certificates. Tumbleweed has both boundary and staging products, but the staging server only sends links that require another step to download and decrypt any messages. Cisco acquired Ironport and they also have a boundary encryption product with several sized but very expensive appliances. Voltage Security has several kinds of encryption solutions. They began by providing their secure email, email file and database encryption appliances that are on some of the world's largest email encryption impl implementations and took this experience and used it as the basis for Voltage Security Network or VSN. So what's involved with making it work for your enterprise? It's relatively painless. As you can see, here are the steps. You need to add an A name DNS record that points to a special subdomain mail server that Voltage maintains. This server requires its own SSL certificate. I got mine from GoDaddy for $30 a year. Then Voltage sets up your server. They send you a custom MSI Windows install file, or you can create the file yourself if you want to run multiple domains. You distribute this file to your users and plugs it into both Outlook and Outlook Express. Here's the requirements for using VSN. You'll notice that missing from this list is any mention of Microsoft Exchange. VSN doesn't need it. And if you don't use any of these products, you can still send and receive messages using the web portal that Voltage calls Zero Download Messenger. As long as your browser supports 128-bit encryption, you're good to go. It's a very affordable $65, and this both includes secure email and secure file services. And I haven't mentioned this, but VSN adds a special menu option in Internet Explorer. You can right-click on any file or group of files and simply encrypt them on your desktop. So here's how it works. It's very easy. You'll notice that your correspondence can be branded with a corporate logo and there are some other examples where you can brand or customize this page as well. If you have a new account, you have to register on the server with a name and a self-selected password. This is part of VSN's on-demand provisioning, so you don't tie up a lot of admin time with managing certs and keys. Fill out this form, click Continue. You get this message in your email. It's a confirmation message. Make sure it's you. And then you just click on this link to verify the transaction and you're done. Once you've gone through this process, it's easy. You compose a new message and you see there are two items that have been added. We're looking at Outlook Express here. Similar screens are in Outlook. There's a Send Secure button at the top. All you have to do is click on that when you're done and your message is sent encrypted. Voltage handles all the rest, exchanging the certs encrypting and decrypting. It's as transparent as can be. I wish there was something sexier to show you here, but the naked simplicity of the process is really what counts. 
You'll also see a voltage menu item that's been added here. You click on that, that brings up the encryption manager where you can keep track of your various email identities and add recipients to your list. In ordinary operations, you don't have to worry too much about it. So what did I like and dislike about the product? It's simple and easy to use, no muss, no fuss. However, the initial setup is going to involve a few different people in your organization, and the online docs are somewhat confusing. These are minor issues. Once you're set up, you're good to go. Thanks for watching webinformant.tv. This is David Strom. Feel free to contact me at david at